You had a problem with a transgender group? What happened? Oh, this is a good example. Okay. All right. Of best intentions. We do a story on transgender, uh, three stories. Uh, a man who transitioned into a woman and two young teenage girls who transitioned into boys. So we're in sensitive material and I applaud CBS and NBC for letting us do the story. I'm really jazzed about it. We're talking about something that's becoming more and more common, but when it comes to the demonstration of how they do the surgery, we were allowed to use an onion to represent the female vagina, but we couldn't use a cucumber or a banana for the penis because that would be too graphic. We were, however, allowed to use an empty toilet paper roll to represent the penis. So I'm looking at that and thinking, all right, there's a few things I could read into this. I'll just share one of them. I can say whatever I want here, right? Of course. Um, uh, we're allowed to use the smelliest vegetable known to man to represent the vagina and the thing you wipe your ass with to represent the penis. But God forbid we put a cucumber and an onion and say, this is how you do it. You peel this back and you make a vagina or a penis out of it. That's the part where I go, what's the disconnect? We're talking about, this was, a, this was a girl who knew she was a boy. That's mind blowing. And you're offended over a cucumber and an onion? The suits. And I did say, I said, look, I don't have an agenda. I used a little bit of you in terms of pushing the envelope. I said, I don't have an agenda, but if you're on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, let me know, would it have offended you if this was a banana or, mm. or you know, not? And the response I, was, no, this is I silly. I would have cracked up.